Hey guys, what's up? It's the late Boy Scout for Vlog Thursday. I think you all know what this is right here, right? It's a shell casing from 223 Tula, right? You've shot this stuff before, probably. I've shot lots of this stuff before through my Smith & Wesson MP15 Sport, and it's done pretty darn well in the past. However, lately it has been bugging the crap out of me, and I'm gonna show you why. And hopefully at the end of this, I can get some feedback from you down in the comment section about why this is happening. At the moment, I've got no clue why this is happening, and it certainly isn't happening with any of this brass case stuff, which I just bought a thousand rounds of, thanks to the discount of uh, Nut and Fancy at, uh, what is it, Tactical Ammunition Inc.? Yeah, sh free shipping on that, that's pretty cool. So let me show you what I'm dealing with. Hopefully I can get some feedback from all you guys. All right, so here are the two rifles that I've been shooting today. This is my Palmetto State Armory, obviously 223 with, I won't go through the components, but anyway, um, that has the SRC bolt carrier group in it. Here's my Smith & Wesson MP15 Sport. And the UTG 15 inch key mod rail that I've also been doing some shooting and testing with today. Expect a video coming up on that pretty soon. It's a great, great rail. Uh, I think there's some weaknesses to the key mod system, which I will touch on in that video. But overall, for the money, given that it's made in the USA, yeah, fantastic, great rail. And uh, it's in that FDE color that perfectly matches any actual Magpul. So it's great, it's fantastic. Both of the bolts are locked back, not just for safety and for seeing that they're clear, but also for one other issue. And we'll get the flashlight up here so you can see what that is. Ready? Here we go. You can see it, I think. Bring the camera down into position and I think you can see that there. Let's zoom in actually. There, now you can see it. You see what that is? That is a casing of Tula 223 and it will not come out. Can't strip it out, can't uh, force it out, can't jackhammer that thing out by letting the bolt go forward, getting the extractor on there and then jacking that down by slamming it on the ground or any of that stuff. Cannot do it. I've got to go home and get a cleaning rod and pound that out. And this is the third time that's happened on this gun. Here we are over on the Palmetto third time it's happened to this gun too always with Tula I do not understand it guys I do not understand it because of the key mod rails both of these do have low pro gas blocks on them you can see that one there on the Palmetto and this one right over here on the Smith & Wesson that is a, a carbine length um, gas system and this is a mid-length gas system if I remember correctly so is it the low pro gas block? That's the only thing I can think of that's changed or that is in common on both of these rifles. Uh, they feature fairly different components otherwise. Uh, that is a, um, a non um, full auto rated bolt uh, carrier group in there. And this one is a full auto rated bolt carrier group. So it's definitely not the BCG. Uh, it comes down to the ammo. It's basically, it's the ammo, but what other combination? What else could cause that? I, I don't know. So that's why I'm asking you guys. Um, is Have you guys had any experience where you've had Tula stuck in your chamber like that repeatedly? I mean repeatedly. This is happening like every time I go out and they've given these guns a thorough cleaning. Definitely that chamber was bright and shiny and clean before I brought it out today on both of these guns. So it's not a, it's not a case where there's dirt in there, and there's debris in there, and the Tula is expanding slightly and getting stuck on that debris. There is no debris, at least not excess debris. Uh, however, that steel case is expanding to the point that it does not want to come back out and basically the rim is getting ripped off rather than the, uh, the case come out. Super frustrating as you can imagine. Please give me your feedback down in the comment section. Is this something you've experienced before? Do I, need, do I need to throw away the remainder of my Tula or do I perhaps have a bad batch that I just need to burn through? That could be the case. Maybe I just, you know, I dumped a whole bunch of Tula into a big ammo can and perhaps amongst all that was two or three bad boxes or, you know, several bad boxes. And so I keep coming across those because it's not happening with every single round. It happens periodically at every outing, but definitely not with every round. Couldn't because, you know, once it happens, I got to take it home and knock it out of there. All right, guys, your feedback is much appreciated. I would definitely appreciate the help. This is a late Boy Scout, very frustrated and very hopeful that I can get some answers. Thanks very much for watching this episode of Vlog Thursday, and we'll see you guys later.